Hey y'all, I'm actually sitting in an abandoned class right now. <laughs> I have class in here in about 40 minutes, so I'm just chilling and I found an empty classroom that I could do my blog in, so I'm going to do it. <laughs> I made a blog yesterday and I deleted it. Mm, good job. Good job. Um, but basically what it was talking about was I went home yesterday for a dentist appointment to get my teeth cleaned. Mm. Um, and, uh, uh, it was really a weird situation because I had just gone through this whole coming out process with all my friends, or a lot of my friends, not all of them. And um, my identity is Micah now, and and people know that, but not my parents, not people that I used to go to school with in high school. So um, I ran into a bunch of people back in my hometown and uh, and and hung out with my dad. <laughs> So it was really weird because I couldn't, um, I couldn't t tell him. I wasn't ready to tell him just yet. So, so I was just I did revert back to uh, being my legal name, which was just like not, <clears throat> not something that I wanted to do. And I realized that this is like the start of like having a double life, um, which is what I've heard a lot of trans people and gender queer people talk about when you're not um, out to your family and you have to lead this double life where they don't know who you are essentially or, or what you identify as. Um, so it was really, it was kind of hard doing that. Um, but for the most part, I got through it, thank God. Um, and I got really good news about my therapist, so I'm really excited I can afford it, yeah! <laughs> So that's always exciting. Um, but yeah, I went back to my old high school yesterday, which was weird. <laughs> um, I didn't see any of my teachers. I just like drove by and just remembered how life was like back then because I was completely different. Um, didn't really know who I was. Felt really isolated from everybody else. I was a one of a handful of people of color in my, in my town. Um, the only brown person, well actually not the only brown person, but one of the only brown people, and one of the, well, probably one of the only mixed race people in my town. Um, so it was really hard growing up and not feeling like I was, or was part of any sort of group or had any sort of identity to, to even relate to other people with. So, um, which is a really, a really good reason why I like the queer community. It's really like community oriented and um, really, uh, reaches out to people and, and makes you feel comfortable. And um, and I've embraced the queer community and, and I think they've embraced me, so that's pretty cool. It's hugs all around <laughs> and making out. But when I did come out in high school at the end of uh, my senior year, I actually lost a lot of friends, <clears throat> which was like not, it was not fun, basically. Um, I lost a huge majority of my friends and uh, I just figured I hated the town anyway, so it didn't really matter, and uh, I was going to college, so I was going to get new friends, but that whole summer was really like a down, depressing period, and, and I tried to fix it by going out and trying to meet, meet girls <laughs> a lot, <laughs> but it um, didn't help, um, but yeah, so it was just really weird to go back to my hometown and have to be something that I wasn't, something that I was not used to. Um, and kind of just hide part of myself from my parents, which was the hardest part. Um, I mean, I'm hoping I can tell them by the end of this year, um, by Christmas. I don't know, but um, yeah. The person that I'm like most worried about telling is my brother because he's really, um, he's a really great guy and he's like so nice and so supportive, but I just don't know if he would understand it. And, and I don't, I just, I don't know. I really don't know. So, um, yeah, it was a strange day yesterday. And I tried to get my, my license renewed, and the line is out the door because my license does not look like me. Let's see, let's like look at what my picture looks like. I'm gonna blur out all this stuff so you can't see. That's what I used to look like. What? So, um, yeah, basically that's that. So I wanted to get a picture that looks a little bit more like me. It's, I now have short hair and um, don't really look like that anymore. <laughs> um, 
but yeah, so it's been a trip. Yesterday was a trip, for sure. And um, I actually went to the Pride Center at my dad's school that he works at, um, at the college. And um, they were really nice, but my dad introduced me as my legal name, which was like a really weird weird position to be in because it's the queer community and I should feel really like accepted and, and and embraced and open with them. But I just was like, I can't believe that I can't even introduce myself as myself and to the people that I'm most comfortable with. So it was, it was friggin' weird. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, so far still some good support coming out um, from that letter and I'm hoping to send out a shorter letter to um, another group of my friends uh, hopefully by the end of this week and explain all the things that have been happening. Or not all of them, just some of them. So yeah, um, going back to your past, weird. It's supposed to be, but it's it's really kind of ridiculous. <laughs> and with that, I am our. I got I got class, yo. <laughs> Peace.